students could be in for a shock with the war in Ukraine predicted to affect the price of budget snack, instant noodles. Instant noodles prices could be the next to soar thanks to the war in Ukraine. So there goes the budget diet of students everywhere. How is this a thing? Apparently, about one third of the world's wheat supply comes from Ukraine and Russia. As those with a keen taste for Indomie M.I. Goreng may already know, most of the world's instant noodles are produced in Indonesia. As it turns out, most of the wheat for those noodles is sourced from either Australia or Ukraine. Aussies chow down on 440 million packets of instant noodles every year. Picture, supplied. That supply chain from Ukraine is looking to be quite disrupted thanks to Russia's invasion, putting Ukraine ports under siege, and the country's farmers having to abandon their crops and fight for their country instead. The ABC reported that the head of Indonesia's Trade Ministry's research division, Kaysen Muri, said that Indonesia has enough wheat to keep things normal for the next two months, but beyond that a change in prices would depend on the duration of the war. This is coming after instant noodles already experienced a price hike thanks to the pandemic. Anthonius Awayang, an Australian spokesperson for Indonesian Bakmin Mewa Instant Noodles, said that COVID had increased the price of noodles by 15 to 20 percent. Look, noodles may seem like a small issue, what with petrol prices going through the roof. But as someone who lived on putting a fried egg on top of instant MI goreng and calling it a meal during uni, I get that this still actually sucks a lot. The war in Ukraine has interrupted the supply chain of wheat. Picture, supplied. In amazing news, there is such thing as the World Instant Noodle Association. It reported in 2020 that Australia feasted on 440 million packets every year, making us the 19th highest consumer of instant noodles. Something to truly be proud of. But also something that makes the instant noodle news even worse. Now we have yet another reason to hope Russia gives it up sooner rather than later.